welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to roll and towing the slab, Logan Webb. He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. Xander Bogarts stands in now and watches strike one. Just off the outside edge. And now it's even one and one. And another ball. Right-hander kicks deals. Wouldn't chase that time. Three balls, one strike. And a strike in there. Okay. Righty to the plate. And that one is lifted in the air. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Just missed. Count 1-0. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And now two and nothing. The pitch. That one misses. Three balls, no strikes. Jake Cronenworth. In the on deck circle. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. No, and a four ball. pitch walk. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. That misses off the outside edge. Bogarts, the lead runner out at second. Tatis at first with no outs. Close nope, one doesn't get the call. And now 2-0. Nope. Righty delivers. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Here's a 2 1. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Here's a 2 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two two now. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. On the ground to third. He gets to it with a slide. Goes to second. Safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Here's Machado. 
golden opportunity right here. How many times have we seen an early at bat change the course of a game? It happens every night in baseball, and maybe it happens again here. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. You need a strikeout. Then you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had a full hit. The good one. Hassan Kim, the next up for the Padres. Fall off foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Shortstop takes the ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Base is loaded. One away. That's out to center field. Yastrzemski on his way over. Squeezes it. Here comes the runner from third. The tag and he's out of the play. And that's a double play to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Back here at Oracle Park, today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first, the here's first Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont Wade Jr. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Darvish, multi-time All-Star. He features a sinker, a slur, a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. On the ground, and foul ball. Oh, and two now. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. Ball still 0 and 2. Hey. Swing and a miss struck him out and one out now. Tyro is to the plate. And that's in there at the knees. All one the count. One out, base is empty. And he grounds one to the right side. Slings to oh. first. And the home first moving along quickly that today. Is. Too long. Take a look at the lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, 
you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity oh, that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. The pitch. That, that one missed. Is. Right through there for a strike. Two ball, one strike. Space is empty. Lifted in the air, right center field. And that will end the inning. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now batting Jurickson Profar. Jurickson Profar. The pitch. Profar gets a piece there. Good nope. eye in that okay. spot. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boo Dixon may be a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Here comes a pitch. Misses outside. Now two and two. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. time he had that, there. That, that, that. The catcher, Luis, Campusano. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. Foul ball there. Second inning here, no score. That's Ball. off the mark. Exercise. And one and one. Hard hit left side. Luciano He's fires down. over to first. Two up, two down. The third baseman. Here's the third baseman. On the ground, right side, Estrada. Padres go down one, two, three. Three up, three down for him there. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here in San Francisco, bottom of the inning, Jorge Soler up at the plate. 
Jorge Soler. Darvish back to work. Right Aye. through there for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised oh, all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. One and ball, ball one. Two strikes. That oh, one misses. Two and two. Kicks and deals. Hard ground ball base now. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Patty. And here is Michael Conforto. Michael. John Porter. Fast ball for a strike. One one. A little bit low. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Uh, that's ball two. With the go-ahead run at first, bottom half of inning number two. That one three. misses. And a full count now. Matt Chapman on deck for San Francisco. Here it comes. Three. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. And here is Matt Chapman. Chapman gets a piece there. Solaire over at first with one away. Strike on the outside. And it's 0 and 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swinging for the K. And the runner holds. Well, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch. Oh, after giving up the leadoff single oh, back good. to that strikeout. So, like haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Austin Slater stands in. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Into center. Merrill settles underneath it. He's there. He's got it. And that will end the inning. One left for San Francisco. We'll move to the third with no score.
And we're back. Leading Top off, half of the third eight. inning. And the now the center fielder, eight. Jackson Merrill. Jackson Merrill. The right hander back to work. Ah. For a strike. It's 0 1. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, two strikes, Sam. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. And a pitch. Eight. Down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Here's Xander Bogarts. Just nope. missed. Ball one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that's nope. off inside, the two. inside edge. And that's ball two. Right through there for a strike. And that one fouled off. And it's three and two. The line to the pitch. Out there to center. Yastrzemski on his way in. Grabs it on the run. Out number two. Now that right field. Fernando now it's Tatis. Fernando Tatis Jr. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. A little bit high maybe. And that's ball one. And there's the strike. Top of the third, no score. And a foul ball. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. And downstairs. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two outs. Just misses with that one. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. Outside, and that is ball four. Oh, that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. Man at first. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. He's 0 for 1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Webb throws the first. Oh, Tatis gets back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Line drive. 
and that should be extra bases. Tatis, round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And it's scored position with two away. And now it's Manny Machado. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. That one finds the zone. And that is strike one. And the right hander deals. On the ground to third. And that one finds its way through. Here comes Cronenworth around third. He'll score easily. And they take a two-run lead. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And now the shortstop, Hassan Kim. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And that's down and away. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Conforto makes the play, and that is that. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Padres two and the Giants nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the catcher, Patrick Bailey. The catcher, Patrick Bailey. The pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. I'll do the Swing and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0 2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Now Marco Luciano. That's in there. Strike one. Tying run at the plate. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. At the belt and fires. One ball. The shortstop takes the ball. With the tying run at the plate here in the last half of the third. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Here comes the throw. And the throws off line. Safe at third. feels amazing getting a job no, done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. They pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. So here's Wade now. 
This Inside just missed. So the tying run is second. Right through there for a strike. Falling behind two and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That ball misses. Three and one. Bailey at third. Luciano at second with nobody out. Base hit. One run in already. Runner stops at third. And they're at the corners with nobody out. Well, that right bat had a lot of pressure riding on it. So, really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Just an awesome swing of the bat. Quick hands and just lost the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Really important at bat coming up now. Now it's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Right through there for a strike. In the infield Hold at one. the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Just missed. Bounce to the right side, and it's just foul. That was close. Runners on the corners, no outs. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That one finds the corner, and it's 0 and 1. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Runners are at the corners, one away. in to score from third. We are tied at two. And the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. So two in scoring position with one out. Jorge Soler, the next giant to hit. And fouled off. Second and third here. One away. And that one fouled off. Deals. Good job to fight that one off. Two on, one out. Bows it back with two strikes. Three. Got him swinging. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. The batter will be Michael Conforto. His first at bat was a strikeout. to the left side. 
Ken with the throw oh. to first. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. On to inning number four. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Back here at Oracle Park, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Jerks and Profar. And he deals. Pitch misses there, 1-0. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The 1-0. Oh, Just missed. Gets under and pops it up. Chapman drifts towards it. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Here's the catcher to hit, Luis Campusano. Grounded out his first time. In there for strike one. All tied up, top half of inning number four. Fouled off. He was late. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Oh. the third baseman swinging a foul straight back the 0 one right through there for a strike well we call that keyhole even though it's right there it looks pretty good if he doesn't love it He's not going to swing that early in the count. Line drive. Nice grab. Make a great catch like that. It's all about timing the jump. His timing was perfect. Excellent grab, and he comes down with it. The inning is over. Matt Chapman, the go. next to hit. The third base. Matt Chapman. And the pitch. That one off the mark, and it's one to no. And a good eye there. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And for a strike. And it's two and one now. So now three and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. But why to kick the pitch? He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Right hander kicks deals. Out to short. 
So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. So digging in, Austin Slater. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. And that one ripped to left, and a base hit right there. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. The bat. The pit solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive now. One down, runner at first. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Help, runner. This one in the dirt. He's in there. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Runner edges away at second. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. Right through there for a strike. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. There's the ball. Yeah. Line to left. That's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Luciano, the next giant to hit. Singleton scored his first time. The shortstop takes the ball. Bailey leads off first with one away. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Hey. That one's in there. One and two. and fires that two one balls. not close two, two balls two strikes I swing and a miss and he got him two out and here's the first no, baseman no, no, no. Lamont no, 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 Wayne no, no, no. Jr. one for two Swings and fouls one off. Next pitch is outside. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. The pitch. Ball, that's outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And now it's even up. Hey. 
Next Great offering ball. misses right. down and away. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Right into the plate. One burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. Oh, that's Ball out. one, no strikes. Two on, two outs. That one fouled off. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Now he breaks his bat. Fires over to first. They limit the damage here. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Camilo Doval. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The pitch. Merrill in the box now. Take strike one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The 0-2. Fights it off, you'll see another. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And the pitch. That one almost got him. The one-two. And that's the first out. And here is Xander Bogarts. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to hold on to it, and the defense comes away with nothing. Substitution being made at first, and here's the pinch runner, Jose Azokar. Some man aboard, one down, and it's Tatis at the play. Swung on, belted. That one hops against the fence. Coming home. Cut off, throw to third, and he's in there. And this one is tied. A run scores on the play. Huge game tying at bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point this one. And now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. 
That's a strike. Going along. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. Be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. The pitch. Ball, oh, that's in. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer out of it. And a 1-1. One -one. Fly ball to right. Conforto gets under it. Brings it in. Runner tags for third. Throw in the line, and he scores. It's 4-3. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. So Ruth Jackson gets the call. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Manny Machado up to the plate. Now they're playing with the lead, and they still have a chance to add on to it. You have to stay aggressive in these at-bats. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Activity in the bullpen. Eric Miller getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Harrison getting cranked up as well. Two runs across in the inning, and we're at the top of the fifth. And Manny gets a piece. The 1 1. That's ball two. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. That's in there. And now two and two. This one in the air center field has a beat on it nabs it and that is that but two runs for him and they jump ahead home half of the fifth coming up it's the Padres four and the Giants three. Back now and on the mound the closer Robert Suarez. Now this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one run game better than a comfortable three run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Now into the ball game on defense. Tyler Wade. He'll play second. Well, one run game. Mike Yastrzemski up here. And a pitch. And that's outside. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Here's a 1 1. Fall off foul. One and two here, and another ball. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 2 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Wouldn't Three chase two. that time. Jorge Soler waits the bat for the Giants. Struck him out looking. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. It was 
hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire Four rings hands. him up for the backwards K. Oh, Jorge Soler, the next giant to hit. Fastball in for a strike, going one. One down, base is empty. Oh, one. Off the mark there. And a count one even, one and one. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Three. And a swing and a miss. Now only one out remaining. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated in it. This is going to go quickly. You, know, you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So they're down to their final out. Michael Conforto will climb in. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Left hand batter waits. Ground ball up the middle. Throw to first, ball game. And the Padres hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. The final, the final line, line score, score for this, this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Four runs on 